UNA tennis in full swing here in the 2019 season, playing a very tough schedule here in the first year of Division One. Let's talk with UNA head tennis coach Bryce Bishop about how the two teams have opened up. Coach Bishop, let's start on the women's side of things. A double header against Tennessee, the only match they have played so far. What have you seen on the women's side of things? Well, it was really exciting to get our our, our Division One you know career started off at Tennessee up in Knoxville. They're a very good team. After we played them, they've gone and beat the 15th ranked team, the 14th ranked team. So it just shows you what a quality team they have. But, you know, I, I saw that we were competitive. I saw we, we've got some talent. Uh, I was really proud in the first match, uh, two of our freshmen, Sidney Flesh, Peyton Andrews. Peyton just got here in January. Uh, they played number three doubles against Tennessee, lose a tight 6-4 set, and then both of them played singles and, and had opportunities. Played really well, played really tight matches. Uh, and then in the second match, again, Sydney Flesh, you know, off the charts playing really, really well. I, I uh, played number one doubles in the second match against Tennessee with Claudia Arroyo, one of our seniors, and again, a 6 4 set. And they lost to a team that's undefeated right now. So it, it just shows you the quality of play there. Sydney came back in singles, another quality singles match, but probably the highlight was Elise Sickle. Elise, a sophomore, uh, came out there and played and, you know, lost a tight first set. And then just really kind of buckled down and, 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 and raised her level and won a really competitive second set, 7-5, and actually had a lead in the match tiebreaker, had every opportunity to win the match. So real, real proud of Elise. I mean, she really – she's been working hard. That's never been the issue, but she's really put it together. Uh, you can just – and we've been seeing it every day in practice with Elise. So real proud of Elise, real proud of the girls. It was, you know, we got a lot of experience out of that match. Uh, but, you know, the downside for the girls, it's been three weeks since they played. Now we play Sunday over in Huntsville indoors against Alabama a &M. So they're excited to get back out on the court. They're excited for their next challenge. Let's talk about the men. They, too, have played a very tough schedule to open up on the road against Ole Miss, Alabama, and Sanford. What have been your takeaways from those three matches? Well, I, I know one thing. The, those teams are really talented. Ole Miss, Alabama, final 16 of the NCAA tournament last year. Uh, they're incredibly talented. Uh, so to start off a doubleheader at Ole Miss and two days later you go to Alabama, it, it, it was exciting. I mean, I'm not trying – it was fun. It was exciting. The, the, the level was incredible. And we were competitive at spots. I mean, we had some guys play really well. Jason Pimenta, uh, you know, our top player who last year was ranked in the top 50 all year, uh, was competitive. You know, he played well. Oscar Meslin, one of our freshmen, won the first set. Uh, in, the, in the first match against uh, Ole Miss and, uh, you know, didn't get a chance to finish the match because they clinched. And then I played him at number one, one the second match, and it was a competitive match. Uh, you know, Andreas Hansen was a very, very competitive match. George Marcos played well against Ole Miss. So we had guys that actually went out and competed, and that was really good for us. And then two days later we go to Alabama, who – is very, very talented, very good. Top 25 in the nation uh, right now ranked, and they're only going to be moving up. And again, Jason looked good. You know, Oscar at times looked good. You know, we had Gustavo look good. You know, we're competing. Now, we're jumping in above our heads. There's no question about it. You know, these are SEC teams. These are teams that are going to book their, you know, probably go deep in the NCAA tournament. But what a great way to start out our, our you know, our D1 legacy. And then this past Sunday, we go over to Sanford, who is probably, I think in the preseason, I saw where they're like top three of the Southern Conference. Very, very talented team. Again, very competitive. Jason Pimenta, Andreas Hansen, win at number one doubles, 6-2. Six, six uh, incredible match. Uh, Tim Hessling and Oscar Meslin had an opportunity at number two doubles. As a matter of fact, we go into singles a little disappointed we didn't get the doubles point. You know, we felt like we had opportunities, and I think playing Ole Miss, playing Alabama, gave us the, the confidence that we can play at that level. Uh, and then we go into singles, and, and we had some guys play well. Tim played well. You know, Gustavo uh, played well again. Uh, uh, Jason played well. But the one thing that we're seeing is when we're playing these Division I teams is, you know, we're kind of going to these matches – you know, we're not getting the quality practice because of not, uh, not having an indoor facility that these other schools have. So these matches we're playing the, great, the best practices we could be getting. Up next for the UNA men and women, you touched on the women. They'll travel to Alabama A&M next week. This weekend the men take on Chattanooga. Then they travel up to Tennessee to take on Middle Tennessee State University. All right, Coach, 
For the men and women both, what do you want to see this weekend as they continue the schedule? Well, we, we go into every match. You know, we're not we're not chasing wins. We're not, you know, we're not looking at records. We're trying to improve ourselves. We focus on ourselves. And we go into every match saying we want to be competitive. We want to have an opportunity to win matches. We want to have an opportunity. If we, win, if we have an opportunity to win enough matches, we'll have enough opportunities, or maybe an opportunity to win the match. So we want to be competitive. You know, we want to make improvements from the previous match. You know, we've talked individual uh, about some of the things that we need to, some of the improvements that we need to make. Now, on the girls' side, you know, it's been three weeks. You know, we, they just need to go play again and, 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 and get back into that competitive environment. But on the guys, you know, we've played four matches. And we've done that in the last week, week and a half. There are some things that we need to improve, and that's what I'm looking for at Chattanooga. Chattanooga's good. You know, we're going to be going over, uh, playing them indoors where they're, you know, they practice every day. So they're good. They're going to be competitive. And but we want to go out there and 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 give ourselves a chance. Same thing with Middle Tennessee. Middle Tennessee is an, a really good team. So we want to give ourselves a chance, be competitive, and then we'll see we'll see where we are at the end of the match. Coach Bishop, thank you for the time today. Thank you for having me. Be sure to visit RoarLines.com to keep up with UNA Tennis here in the first year of Division One.